Wow. There was a heck of a storm last night. I don't think I've ever seen so much debris on the beach before. I'm lucky the lighthouse is still standing in one piece. I'm lucky there was no shipwrecks. Hmm. No. Small miracles, huh? I suppose all that's left now to do is to check my net and see if uh, I can get dinner tonight. Hey now. What in the... Is that... Oh, shit. Hey, ma'am. Ma'am, are you okay? Oh, fuck. What? Oh, ma'am, ma'am. Oh. Uh, um. Oh. Mm, I don't, um. You're a siren, right? Um. Okay. Look, I don't... I'm sorry. I thought you were a human woman trapped in my net. Uh, whatever fish are in the net, you can have them. Just I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll go. I'm sorry. I. You're stuck. In my net. I. Uh, yeah, I can. Help free you, but. Um. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm a little nervous. I've grown up on tales of sirens eating men that were foolish enough to get near the water with them. <laughs> yeah, you look rather stuck now, but that doesn't mean you're going to stay stuck. This could all be a ploy. Why aren't you singing? Hmm. Oh, yeah, that does look nasty. Okay. Hold still. No. No, 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 no. Hey, calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down. You are tied up way too tight in this for me to get it out with my hands. I'm, I'm going to have to cut you loose, okay? That's all the knife's for, I swear. Hey, I'm trusting you by coming near the water. So you have to trust me right now, okay? Okay. Nice and easy. There you go. Can you swim? Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Uh, uh, okay, here. Um. Oh, no, what am I doing? Okay, okay, this is fine. This is fine. A man-eating siren got caught in your net and fell unconscious. And now you're carrying her to... The... Oh my god, what am I doing? I'm so insane. God, please stay unconscious. Please stay unconscious. Please stay unconscious. Okay. Oh, thank god there's this rocky pool here. Man, her pulse is really weak. <laughs> Maybe that's normal. I'm gonna go... Ah, man. I have to fix that dang net. I wonder if there's any fish left. Okay. Well, not as much as I'd hoped, but there's still a little bit here for a meal. I'll clean these and go check on my friend here in a minute and see how she's doing. Hey. Hey. Wake up. Can you focus on me? Hey! Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Calm down. Yeah. Yeah, I'm the human that saved you earlier when you were caught in the net. Um, as soon as I freed you, you basically fell unconscious. Yeah, I assume that fighting to stay afloat while you're wrapped in a net during a storm is very challenging. Look, I... All I came here for, I have some food. I was gonna see if you were hungry. No, not 
not human food. I wouldn't. No, I'm not a cannibal. <laughs> oh, you mean food that I eat? No. Um, I have. I clean the fish for myself. I have the remains. Would you like them? How do you want? Them? Oh. Hmm. Okay. No, no, my stomach is not turning watching you eat. No, I'm fine. Just let me know when you're finished. Ugh. Okay. So look. Obviously, you and I don't know each other. But you don't seem like you're in great shape right now. You seem very tired and very injured. Now, I will admit, I don't know anything about sirens whatsoever. So I could be utterly incorrect about that. Look. If you want, you can stay here and recover. Even during the highest of tides, the ocean barely reaches here, so you won't have to fight against the current. And once you're recovered enough, I can either bring you back down to the ocean, or there's a cave nearby. Well, the cave becomes submerged during high tide, so I could take you there. I imagine that there's fish that you could eat, and you could finish recovering there without my assistance. And once you're ready to go, you can swim back directly out to the ocean. Or I could take you to the cave now. Or I could take you back to the ocean and just... We can part. Well, if I am going to carry you anywhere again, I'm sorry. I'm probably going to have to either put something in your mouth or gag you in some way. I don't trust your teeth near my neck. <laughs> Again, I don't know anything about sirens. As far as I know, you could rip my throat open and eat it, and then feast on me, and then walk yourself back to the ocean. What do I get from this? Well, if I'm being completely honest, I don't remember the last time I had communication with another person. And outside of the fishy bits you're not bad to look at so <laughs> that was mostly a joke yes so yes basically you keep me company and I'll nurse you back to health do we have a deal wonderful so what exactly is it that you like to eat Hmm. Wow. Okay. So you really don't... Wow. Now, every every story I've ever heard about you guys is that you're almost, like, predominantly man-eaters. That does make sense, I guess. We don't really fall overboard ships that often. Oh, so you guys are kind of like a tribal system. That's neat. Mm -hmm. Well, we do have tribes of humans that are a little bit more eager to eat other humans, so I suppose it makes sense that tribes of sirens would be more eager for that as well. I don't know, between you and me, I always presumed that we tasted kind of gross. <laughs> well, I'm glad that you don't know. Or at the very least that you're kind enough to lie to me about it. Now then, is there anything else I can do for you at this exact moment? Or... Yeah, yeah, you can absolutely go to sleep. Well, hopefully by the time you wake up, I will have some crab or some lobster. And then we can feast on that, huh? You have a good night, and I'll see you in the morning. Well, hello there, sleepyhead. Yeah, I have 
some fish, I have some crab, and I managed to catch a marlin. <laughs> I know. Very impressive, aren't I? Here's your share. How are you feeling? Yeah, your skin looks a lot better. And it seems like those wounds across your neck are doing better. Yeah. We'll be ready to move you to the cave here soon. Well, hey, while you're eating, would you mind if I asked you a question? Yeah, um, well, in the entire time that we've known each other, which granted I know it's only been, you know, a few weeks, a couple months, whatever, um, you've never sang for me before. Oh, I see your throat was hurt, and that's why you couldn't sing. But it seems to be doing better now. I see. So you guys do actually only sing when you're attempting to attract human prey. I suppose that makes sense. Well, yeah, I mean, I don't imagine that fish respond to your singing voice. At least not nearly as well as humans do, I imagine. Well, I'll keep that in mind if I ever hear you sing them and you're trying to lure me in, huh? <laughs> oh, uh, no, I'm sorry. I, I meant that as a joke. I, I believe you when you say that you haven't ever eaten anybody. I mean, there was that one time that you tried to take a bite out of me. Yeah, I get that you say it was an accident, but all I know is your very sharp teeth got very close to my forearm. Yeah, well, there's a really important vein that goes through there, so I'd really rather you not go biting on it, if it's all the same to you. Yeah, it is getting out of the way. I think I'm going to go up to the lighthouse and probably go to bed, and I suppose when I wake up in the morning, uh, I'll move you to the cave. Yeah. I'll see you then. Sleep well, okay?